Get Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! go we don't know he could be down there still he he could be on the run he 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 could be gone he could be okay he went down there for you i know he did he Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up to Claire. It's Kenny to answer for, too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. I mean you know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there!
I got us adjoining rooms. I'm gonna kill you. I have a gun. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Good. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. The girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. 
I did my best. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. What? Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. as fast as we can. Hey. 
You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Savannah. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. Just a little more. It's so gross. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> 